Hey, what's going on guys? Crazy Glecker here, bringing you uh, the first, actually after a long time, uh, one of my GM modes that we're going to make here. I uh, I always, you know, say I'm going to do them and I just, I just get too busy. I have school, I have work, so finally now that summer's coming around, I thought I'd let you guys enjoy one of my GM mode series and hopefully you guys can comment and, you know, gonna have a good season here or a good few seasons actually um, so first off I wanted to do the Buffalo Sabres now I know people are saying oh they're so shit but that's the fun part about it like the Buffalo Sabres are shit so why don't we bring them to the top you know they were good before they lost Miller they lost a whole bunch of good players Vanek so I mean we can do this we can uh, we can do this as a team here we can you know, together comment and I'll, you know, set this shit up, let's do this. Um, I'm decided to turn the salary cap off just because it's easier to you know, meet the requests of everyone. Like I know, oh, it's not realistic, it's not realistic, well yeah, I know, but like, it's much easier to meet the requests of the crowd if you have the salary cap off, so you know what, you might as well. I mean, it just makes it more fun, like I mean, this isn't real life, so. Anyways, so uh, everything looks good here. I don't. The difficulty doesn't matter because I'll show you uh, what this GM mode is all about. This GM mode is going to be a lot different from what you'll see uh, around the YouTube league of GM modes because uh, I can make it. So I found out a way that uh, just the team plays and you don't have to play. So that way we can like really get to see how our team plays by themselves. Uh, anyways, so yeah, uh, injuries on, everything's on, everything looks good. Okay, so everything else is realistic but the salary cap, and uh, I think we'll have a good career like that. I think it'll just be easier and better for us to, you know, meet the requests of everybody and, uh, you know, run things smoothly here. Um, again, I don't want to dive too much into my personal life, but uh, again, since it's summer, I'll have more time to do this. Uh, usually it might be Tuesday, Thursday. I'll upgrade, uh, upload a video, but um, I'll try to do my best to do it at least twice twice a week. Twice a week. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and look at the roster we have here. Let's go ahead and look at the, the big guns. Looks like we actually have a few good people on here. Now, I know the Buffalo Sabres did horribly, but uh, you know, Sabres, fuck you, assistant coach. So, uh, Sabres, you know, you, you have a good team. Uh, we got Gergensen, you know, he's gonna be crazy, he's so, he was so good this year, and he had that insane between the legs to Latvian of all things, but uh, he uh, had that insane deep against that Detroit defenseman, uh, Cromwell I believe it was, and, you know, through the legs that was pretty cool, you got Tyler Ennis, of course we all know him, Matt Molson, best player in the entire earth. Just kidding. Man. I'm an Islanders fan, so that's awesome to see him on here. Uh, Kane, not Patrick Kane. Uh, it's a little too dark to be Patrick Kane. Uh, Grigorenko, Hodgson. We got Gianta. That's not bad. You know, we have good players. We have a mix too. Like we got Molson and we've got Gianta. You know, they're both veterans of the NHL. We've got Domingo. You know, just came from the Leafs. He did really well there. He's got some NHL experience. Uh, you know, we have a good team here, and they're all, you know, elite, you know, top six forward, top nine forward, top six forward, you know, elite, you know, we got so many elites, and we got so many top six forwards, you know, in a few years, maybe not even a few, maybe even in a year, this team will be great. This is what I was most surprised at, look how good the defense is, like, yeah, we've got some 80s and 79s, but these guys are good at defense, you know, Andre Benoit, he's, he's old, like, he knows what he's doing, he's 30 years old, you know, he, He's got some experience. He knows uh, how to play defense, and I, I was so surprised at how many good defensive people we have. I know they just got Bogosian. I know they just got Kane, but I mean they had Georges, they had Mazaros. Like we, they got some good veteran defensemen that uh, could really make the team you know, worth the while. The only spot they're lacking is the goalie. So I know they just traded for Chad Johnson. He's a good goalie. He was good for the Islanders when he played. But uh, he's not that good. He's an 82. You know, he's almost good, but he's not that good. Um, definitely not a starter. That's where Hackett comes in. Hackett is like the best cheat code ever. Like, 
He's an 80 overall, and which is honestly such a cheat code. I don't even know why. Whenever you put an 80, not 80 to a 79 goalie in, he's stone as shit. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, he's an elite goalie. I mean, a year or two, he'll be the next Miller. He'll be the next, yeah, Miller. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he'll be the next Miller, whoever else played Buffalo. I think uh, Hassock played Buffalo, but I'll have to check that again. Um, but yeah, no, if we wait a few years, get rid of Johnson, I think... Uh, I think we'll be good. Now the scratched roster here, uh, Delorier, I know him, Del I don't know him, but Delorier is good. I know he's going to be bottom six forward, he's good at physical play, let's see, 87 checking, yeah, like he, he's really good at physical play and he'll probably be our next grinder uh, once we get rid of the enforcer, I can't remember his name on this team, but he's like an 81, but uh, anyways, so yeah, uh, I think we have a good team here, honestly. Like, we got good, tough guys. Uh, got that Delurier guy. Not Brian Gianta, we all know. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, no, like, people like Felino, uh, Kane, you know, we all know they're tough. And then we got Grigorenko, Ennis, and then that's where, you know, uh, the playmakers come in and they'll support the team. And I think we've honestly, we've got Matt Molson, of course, the best player in the entire earth. Uh, I'm not a Rangers fan, so. Anyways, yeah, no, we've got, I think we've got good people to complement each other. I just think we need a little more offense. Um, I think we'll be uh, we'll be mint, honestly. Now, uh, what's brewing in the minors here? So I don't think, that, yeah, I don't think they have very good people in the minors. I think they have like three good guys. Yeah, physic. I know he's good. Physic, physic, sick. I don't know. He's pretty good. Uh, there should be another defenseman, Mc, McNabe, maybe. I don't know. Here, let's just go through them all. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. So like, basically, you know, they're they've all reached their potential, or they're like not very good. You know, they're low. You know, bottom six AHL forward. You know, but here's uh, yeah. He was the he was the enforcer. Um, yeah, you know, bottom six forward. All right, seventy. You know, it's nothing really good here. We need to. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the depth in the draft is actually there. There, McNabe, yeah, top four defenseman. That's good. Grinder, you know, we're pretty good with the grinders here and uh, the hitters. Uh, top four defenseman. Oh yeah, there he is. Um, that's what I was trying to think of because Griffin Reinhardt plays for the Islanders. So we got Sam Reinhardt, who's also a lead, who's also going to be really good. And uh, we all know him. We all know he's going to be really good. Um, basically, I think I think we need to get some draft picks this year. Um, they, they got depth in the draft. Uh, there's not much more to say. There's depth. We got to pick up those guys and we got to do it. Um, as for goalies here, uh, shit, they have Lindback? Oh! Um, wow, I didn't even know that. Okay. Shit, talk about an 80 cheat code. I'm gonna move him up. Um, where is he here? Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna take out Hackett. You might as well take him out, and um, I'll go ahead and put Lin back in the cheat code. Call him the cheat code, Lin back. And uh, yeah, no waivers. We're good. Oh yeah, so the season hasn't even started yet. Anyways, yes, let's edit our lines here. I think it's just him we need to edit. But uh, I think Buffalo looks pretty good, honestly. Like I think our team will be okay. I don't know why they did so bad this year. They uh, well, I guess they got Bogosian and Kane late. And, uh, yeah. Well, anyways, I think we're good. I think we'll we'll see how this team does. Uh, we'll make some make some changes here. I don't think we need to change the captains. I like uh, like Gianta, of course. Um, Georges, Molson. And, yeah, I think that's a good... Probably the best players on the team. We're going to have to put Kane in there somewhere uh, later in time. Anyways, so... Um, basically, I want to... I wanna, uh, tell you about what I'm going to do here with the GM series. It's going to be a lot different than what you think it's going to be, because um, everybody on YouTube sort of does the same thing. But I am going to sim to the last game of the month, and then that last game of the month I'm going to play uh, live. Like I'm going to, I'm not going to play. I have a, I have a way where I can set it as I'm the coach of the team. And uh, that way we can actually see how people develop, we can see how people work together, we can literally, you know, put so much depth into it. And uh, I think that'll be a really fun series for everyone. So, last game of the month, it'll be live, we'll all be able to see it, 
and uh, I think that'll be a good change and a good, you know, yeah, change from what, what we usually get from the YouTube GM modes. So uh, let's go ahead and sim it here. Um, yeah. Okay, yes, waivers, we know. We're not new here. Just because I have no salary cap on doesn't mean I'm new here. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, scouting. Um, we definitely need a defenseman. Uh, we'll look at defensemen. Obviously, goalies, yeah. But uh, I think we should look at the defense first. Um, Canada, we all know, has the most players. Uh, let's go here. Um, six weeks, start of the season, six weeks. We need a defenseman. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure there's there's a lot of good defensemen. I can't think of them right now, but there's a lot of good defensemen in the draft that are, you know, hiding behind Jack Eichel and uh, Connor McDavid. So, you know, hopefully we'll uh, pick them out of the weeds there. Let's see, okay, a loss. Columbus? It's not too bad, I guess. Uh, oh! We beat, we beat Chicago. 4-1. Okay. Shit. That's surprising. I was even not expecting to beat them. And then... Oh, is that a... That's a 4-1 win against... Oh my god. How come we lost to Columbus and... And... Hurricanes. No offense to you fans, but... I would think it's the other way around. Lose against the Blackhawk and... Blackhawks and Ducks. Win against... Carolina and... Blue Jackets. Wow, okay, that's a double win. Florida, eh, and uh, Boston. Wow, we beat Boston. Okay, so maybe the uh, the last game is looking up for us because uh, that's really surprising. Now, who got injured? Oh, yeah, Ennis. All right, Ennis. Ennis, Ennis. Ennis, Ennis. I'm going to have to edit you out of the lineup here. It's honestly the one thing about the small guys is that they get injured so much. It's so irritating when you're trying to sim through. So uh, just a heads up, uh, Ennis and George's might be, I mean, not George's, what's his face? Um, Gianta might be an uh, injury problem, may have to get rid of them. But I'm going to give this youngster a try here. We already have enough uh, enforcers on. And I think actually he'll work really well because he's a playmaker, right? So let's switch Hodgson because he's a lot better. Um, okay, I think Gregorenko and uh, Zelp, Delp. Alp will uh, we'll work well together, so hopefully, and then Kane obviously is like an 85, so I think that'll actually be pretty good. I think that's a good lineup. Oh, oh no, and this was on like every line. Okay, so I'll quickly switch this up. Um, what's there to talk about? Um, Stanley Cup Finals. Wonder who's gonna win that. I'm not even gonna make a prediction. Probably get so much hate in the comments, but uh, yeah, I uh, I wonder if uh, Chicago take, can take the win. I know they've got Kane and Taves and you know all those Keith Seabrook, but uh, I think the Lightning has a lot of quick youngsters that can you know switch it up and uh, really surprise them. You know they did last night. So yeah, uh, honestly, I'll be, I'll be, it's a fun series to watch and it's. It's it's cool to see. It's, it's cool to see two two. They're so different the teams. But they're uh, they're so alike too. It's it, it's a nice nice series to watch. But anyways, here so I think we're almost done. Four on four is not continue four on four. I believe shootout. Okay, so defenseman. Let's put a defenseman in there. Uh, where's where's George's? Where's George's? I don't think we need to put George's. I think. I was gonna pick George's. I know he's pretty good at them. Um, that's Gianta. My bad. Oh shit. Um, okay, let's put let's put him to Gojin. Gojin's good at offense, so let's try him out. Do I not have a goalie? Lindback? Cheat code? Lindback? Did you leave me? You did. Didn't even tell me you got injured. That's so weird. They gotta fix that. They better tell me that both of them are injured next time. That's weird. I never even noticed. Okay, um, I guess that's it's Hackett's time to shine now. Uh, that's that's odd. I didn't... Hopefully he's not injury prone because I actually like Limbach. I know I know he's not very good, but I like him. He's not, not the worst guy in the world. 
good backup goalie. If we get rid of Johnson, I'm definitely keeping him as a good backup goalie to uh, maybe hack it or maybe another guy we get. Um, oh no, did it? They need to change that. NHL 15 best game, 10 out of 10. Okay, so we're gonna have to redo all this. Um, let's talk about our team a little bit. So, I think we need to get rid of Johnson hands down. I think he's a backup goalie, but he's not good enough to be a goalie goalie. He can't be number one. He's already reached his potential. It's only 82. And when I say only 82, I'm not saying like, shit. I'm saying that there's better starters out there for us. So if Hackett doesn't reach his, you know, 82 or 85 uh, next year, then uh, we'll definitely uh, look at getting rid of Johnson and um, look at a few options because I think we need a goalie. I think we can we can get a defenseman in the draft. I think we can wait a bit for a defenseman. So we got a few ones brewing in the league, and uh, I think we need some bottom bottom six forwards. I think those guys are a little too old or a little too slow. So uh, we're definitely going to need some depth uh, throughout our forwards because I think that's what I'm going to trade for. I think I'm going to use a couple of those guys, those older guys, those guys that have reached their potential, take them away and put, you know, better, faster, younger kids in that can really, uh, really bring some good to the team. So I believe, oh yeah, no, we're on the shootout again. Who did I put in the shootout? Who did I put in the shootout? Bogosian. Bogosian. Put my little Bogosian inside here. Okay, so 85 Bogosian, he's good. Goalies, don't tell me. Okay, so we got everybody here. Gang's all here, boys. Now let's sim the rest of this slut and see what we can do. Put Johnson, Hackett or Johnson? I don't know, who won those games? That's what I want to know. I want to know who won those goddamn games. Oh my god, it was Johnson! A 9.27 save percentage? Holy shit, we might need... We might need to keep Johnson. We might need to get rid of the cheat code. Cheat code Lindback. But, uh, anyways. Yeah, you know, that would, that would happen to me. Okay, great. Great Lindback. You know, you're not the cheat code anymore, you're just shit. Okay. So, let's send Hackett back down because, you know, Lindback, I still love you and I forgive you. So, yes, confirm your slut down at the bottom. You're getting sent back down to the miners, kid. You're not good enough for our team. Okay, so, edit lines. Looks like we're all good, except for the goalies. Yes, Lynn back. Get sent to the lineup. Okay, so. He was drafted by Nashville, that's so weird. I never even knew that. Anyways, so, win-win. That's that's four wins and two losses. That's not bad. You know, for a team that was... Okay, so I, I jinxed it there. I jinxed it. And Tyler Endes is back after all that. You know what? I just hit best lines because obviously I'll just change the lines back to normal as we started. So, screw that shit. Okay, so over 7-6 overtime loss. Holy shit. Was the cheat code in net there? That little bitch. San Jose. Wow, I was that. That's crazy. Our team's actually doing really well. Um, Maple Leafs. Big bad Maples. Nipples. Naples. Nip Nape Leafs. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, you know, three and zero win, but it's the Leafs, boys. It's the Leafs. That's my hometown, but it's the Leafs. I, ha I had to say it. Okay, so uh, honestly, that's it. That's the rest. I'm gonna. Uh, sadly show this game next episode but uh, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this and uh, hopefully you uh, subscribe and hit that like button because uh, there will definitely be more coming and I think this Boston Bruins game because they're only beating us by one point will uh, we'll definitely be one to see so um, that one will be coming up uh, sometime this week or next and uh, anyways guys subscribe if you want to see more and uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, I really appreciate it and uh, definitely more to come I think I'm going to do this series for a lot of the summer, so I think the Buffalo Sabres, it's time for them to win a few cups with uh, us by our side. Don't be afraid to comment, and uh, again, thank you so much for watching, guys.